Hi, this is Abdul Karim from Khalij Times and in this video we're discussing the International Space Station. Well, on the 25th of September, the UAE rocketed into the history books by sending the first astronaut, Hazar al-Mansouri, into space. The 35-year-old is expected to spend eight days at the International Space Center to conduct 16 experiments. In this video, we will explain to you what the International Space Station is, along with key facts and what its purpose is. So let's start. The International Space Station is a multi-nation construction project that is the single largest structure humans have ever put into space. Its main construction was completed between 1998 and 2011. The International Space Station was taken into space piece by piece and gradually built in orbit using spacewalking astronauts and robotics. The first module, the Russia Zarya, was launched on the 20th of November 1998 on a Proton rocket. Two weeks later, Space Shuttle Flight STS-88 launched the, the NASA Unity Node 1 module. Now, the ISS includes contributions from 15 nations, which includes NASA from the United States, Roscosmos from Russia, and the European Space Agency are the major partners of the space station, who contribute most of the funding. The other partners are the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. The space station has been continuously occupied since November 2000. Usually, an international crew of six people live and work while traveling at a speed of five miles per second, orbiting the Earth about every 90 minutes. In 24 hours, the space station makes 16 orbits of the Earth, which means it travels through 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets. It was initially designed to be a big laboratory in space, which actually orbits the Earth at around 28,000 kilometers an hour, or 7.66 kilometers per second. The space station is 357 feet end-to-end, -end, one yard shy of the full length of an American football field, including the end zones. Now, it is located 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface, Six spaceships can be connected to the space station at once. A spacecraft can arrive at the space station as soon as six hours after launching from the Earth. Now let's look at what the purpose of the space station is. Astronauts spend most of the time on the ISS, performing experiments and maintenance, and at least two hours of every day are allocated to exercise and personal care. The living and working space in the station is larger than a six-bedroom house and has six sleeping quarters, two bathrooms, a gym and a 360-degree viewing bay window. The space station has been continuously occupied since the year 2000 and so far over 230 individuals from 18 countries have visited the International Space Station. When it comes to crew rotation, this is how it works. Three astronauts fly to the space station in Soyuz spacecraft and spend about six months there at a time. Sometimes a mission length varies a little due to spacecraft scheduling or special events. The ISS is a platform for long-term research for human health. Human bodies change in microgravity, including alterations to the muscles, bones, the cardiovascular system and the eyes and many scientific investigations are trying to characterize how severe the changes are and whether they can be reversed. This is also one of the key areas where Hazar al-Mansouri will be working on. Through Expedition 52, the Microgravity Laboratory has hosted more than 2,400 research investigations from researchers in more than 103 countries. Hazar has been in touch with the Space Center team here in the United Arab Emirates via video calls to discuss his life up in space. He shared that he had to sleep without lying down. Astronauts and cosmonauts on the ISS attach their sleeping bags to a wall or a ceiling and sleep anywhere as long as they don't float around and bump into something. In terms of work, 
Alman Suri conducted an experiment on fluid dynamics in space to observe how liquids move in weightlessness. Now, previously, on Friday, the 27th of September, he demonstrated the effects of microgravity by letting his microphone float and twirl in the air. You may wonder what it's like inside the station given the atmospheric differences compared to the Earth. Well, the space station has an internal pressurized volume which is equal to that of a Boeing 747. Crews are not only responsible for science but also for maintaining the station. Sometimes this requires that they venture on spacewalks to perform these repairs. Astronauts and cosmonauts have conducted more than 205 spacewalks and counting for space station construction, maintenance and repair since December 1998. If the crew needs to evacuate the station, they can return to the Earth aboard the two Russian Soyuz vehicles docked to the International Space Station. Soon, the commercial crew vehicles Dragon by SpaceX and CST-100 by Boeing are expected to increase ISS crew numbers because they can bring up more astronauts at a time than the Soyuz. When the US commercial vehicles are available, demand for Soyuz will also decrease because NASA will purchase fewer seats for its astronauts from the Russians. Looking ahead to the future, NASA is also working on a Robonaut, which can replace astronaut spacewalks to perform routine tasks in the outer space. So it certainly is an exciting time to work in the space industry. To stay updated with Hazza's space mission, you can log on to khalishtimes.com to find out more. Thank you for watching. It's goodbye for now.